Well, there's nothing like a maiden flight. This cap rig took its first test flight yesterday on a hill overlooking the Champlain Valley. The fled kite was very well behaved in a 10 mile per hour wind, so I just tied off the line while I got the rig set up. The objective of this rig is to hold two cameras pointed straight down so they both capture the same scene, and to make it easy to remove and replace the cameras without having to readjust the alignment. The frame of the rig is part of a peak of a suspension system that dampens motion and allows the rig to remain more or less level. I replaced a dozen old windows a few years ago and have lots of the leftover aluminum storm window frames. I cut off a strip from one of these to bend into the rig frame. The old cheap metal has little plasticity, so it can be bent only once before breaking. But with the double right angle flange along the strip, it made a pretty strong and stiff frame. I drilled through the overlap at each corner for the peak of AIs. I couldn't find small enough eye bolts, so these eye screws are fastened into little blocks of PVC. The second camera shelf and the PVC leg holders are attached with little bolts. My hope is that the flange along the camera shelf will align the cameras automatically as they're installed and keep them positioned correctly. The legs keep the cameras out of the dirt and grass and serve as shock absorbers during hard landing. The key to their design is that they're easy to remove, so the whole thing can be transported compactly. They're just attached with little pieces of tent pole bungee cord. Without the cameras, the whole thing weighs 140 grams. Since the aluminum was free, the materials cost me only about $13, including the cost of the two red Brooks's camera keeper bolts and the Brooks's hang-ups for attaching the peak of A to the kite line. The peak of A suspension is very effective at damping spinning motion and also good at absorbing swaying motion along the axis of the kite line where the peak of A line moves through the eyes, which tends to keep the thing level. The peak of A is less good at damping swaying motion perpendicular to the kite line. I set it up with both cameras recording video to check on the alignment. Eventually, I hope to use this rig for matched infrared and visible cameras, which will simultaneously capture the same scene. So pointing both cameras in exactly the same direction is a goal. So the alignment looks good, but not perfect. It seemed to me that during this particularly bumpy part of the flight, the motion recorded by the two cameras was not identical. So is that because the center of gravity is closer to the heavier upper camera and the spinning motion is amplified in the lower camera? Or maybe I'm just imagining this. After the video flight, I sent the rig back up to capture some stills. Because that is what it's all about.